This is a course I co-teach with Eric Schneider. Uh, we're both historians really interested in a wide range of stuff, so we get together to teach uh, the core course for second year students in the department. Um, this is a kind of really ambitious course. Its aim is to prepare students for the third year of the program and really to give them a really powerful sense of how you research in economic history, how you read economic history, so how you deal with all of those numbers and quantitative uh, estimates, estimates that you see in different papers, and also to think, for, think a bit um, about what knowledge is in economic history. So how we go from facts through to ideas, through to statements of what we think is maybe a bit true about the past. Kind of how do economic historians come up with the stories they tell us? For me, the most exciting part of, of teaching EH237 is really seeing students engage with the research process for the first time. It's something that is kind of, you know, produces anxiety, it's difficult, but when students are working in the archives and, and beginning to kind of, you know, figure out a historical question and a historical puzzle, that's really exciting and, and interesting to, to view. One thing that I really like about what we see in this course is when we bring students together to work as as a group for the first time. It's the first moment where we ask um, four or five students to really come together and try and do something as a team. And that seems to really, really work. It really generates a whole new kind of ethos and community in the, in the, between the degree program. And you get some really interesting ideas and really interesting relationships coming out of it. So there are kind of two ways that EH237 is important for understanding the world today and for students in their, in their long run trajectory outside of academia. Um, the first is that it, the, the kind of critical perspective that we provide on sources and data is really important for understanding how data is used and misused today to make political arguments, uh, you know, even in a work setting, you know, how the assumptions that people make about how they construct their data may affect the conclusions that they draw from that. That's a very useful idea that's, that's important to learn. And the second thing is, is that really research is a, is a very important marketable skill. You know, businesses want people who can be independent, who can go out and kind of solve problems and answer questions. And that's what we teach in this course. So those are the two things that that really make EH237 a really important part of, of both the BSc degrees in economic history, but also for the wider development of our students.